Bunny Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And this is my adorable little detective kitty, Zeno Asagiri. And today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Detective Conan Chapter 1109. So before we get into this recap and live reaction, let us just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel and alone and this video are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, the adorable Detective Kitty, and this channel alive too, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, and like a good kitty, Zeno is here. Hi, Detective Zeno. Zeno the key. Zeno the cat. You ready to solve this mystery key? Because you are. Because he is Detective Kitty. Yes, the Detective Kitty. He here to solve the mysteries. Yes. Look at that cat. He friendly. You ready to solve mysteries and cause mischief. This will be the second mystery we will get into, because most you know, girl. He ready. Look at that. He's ready for the mystery. He friendly. But, um, anyways, we're getting to, into the chess piece. Yes. I'm really stoked for this. Let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this week. And, oof, we got We got a color page up in here. And, um... Oh, well, we got a, got a color cover. There we go. The board is in shambles. In this chapter is titled The Queen's Gambit. The truth behind the 17-year-old case is revealed as the organization moves forward um, through past ties. Here we go. 17 years ago, under the cold rain, rum is cold, heartedly waiting for that moment. When the car, um, Asaka, uh, was in, got into an accident at the intersection, um, if only I had let them, um, see it through. Too many onlookers retreat immediately. Wouldn't have to wait this long in vain. Kya! What's wrong, Gianti? Ah, oh, no, I just read something on the news online. In this day and age, some idiot committed a robbery with just a knife, so I just couldn't help laughing. I'm sure that I already said. Don't. I'm sure that I've already said. Don't take your eyes off your scope, didn't I? Roger, I'd like to reconfirm, just in case. What are the target's characteristics? A uh, long hair, um, long-haired woman just short of 170 centimeters carrying a striped umbrella. That's it, right? Yeah. Finish her off in one shot only, please. Uh, Roger. Why, almost. You mean, um, you still haven't fully solved that dying message, right? Kitty, you, you didn't solve the message, Insult the message key. Why? Why? Because you are a lie. Yeah, there are some parts that are still mysterious. It's all right. I can fill in the blanks since I'm aware of what transpired back then. Let's hear it. Um, the key to the cipher is the thing on the wristwatch is dialed. The kiss mark. Hmm. Here we go. Yeah, there are some parts that are still mysterious. All right, look, I gotta read this again. I'm sorry. It's all right. I could uh, fill in the blank since I'm aware of what transpired back then. Let's hear it. The key to the cipher is um, this thing on the wristwatch is dialed, a kiss mark. Um, I wasn't sure if it uh, should be interpreted as lips or red because of the lipstick shade or just simply a uh, kiss mark. But you could see some lipstick on the circular groove around the dial, right? Uh, that suggests that she put the, that kiss mark once, but it didn't turn out as intended, so she wiped it off and put another kiss mark on again, right? Yeah. And the kiss mark's meaning isn't simply just a kiss mark, nor the red lipstick shade. But rather, it's the shape on the lipstick on the dial. In another word, Amanda wanted to emphasize um, the shape of the lips or mouth. By meaning, by mouth, you mean M-O-U-T-H, right? Um, correct. The lipstick mark on the dial is cut off at both ends, so I think uh, she wanted us to cut characteristics at both ends of lips or mouth. Removing both ends of the words uh, lips gives us uh, IP as in the internet, but I think out from mouth is a uh, better fit in this case. Um, if that's combined with watch from wristwatch, it becomes watch out, as in beware or be careful. 
I see, but I'm not sure what was um, there to watch out for. Maybe it's related to someone's eyes, um, since the knight's eyes uh, were smeared with lipstick. Does that remind you of anyone, Superintendent Corona? Come to think of it, I did pass a man by a man with a, um, an odd pupil. I couldn't see it well since he was wearing a monocle, but it looked like a snake eye. Hmm. I'm oh, sorry, but it looked like a snake's eye. That's a snake? Well, it's just the impression I got. Apart from that, uh, did the bodyguard you evacuated really look like Wakasa sensei Yeah, but she was wearing sunglasses, so I can't say for sure. But whenever I come across her, she glares at me. Maybe she'll, she still thinks that I was the one who killed Amanda Haneda Koji. Um, as a last resort, how about we just ask Wakasa sensei directly? Yeah, um, I think she'll just dodge the question anyway, but it won't hurt to ask. Whoa, five missed calls from the professor. I didn't notice them because my phone was on silent. Ah, Professor? Oh, oh, the call finally got through. I couldn't get in touch with you, so we decided to leave for our family restaurant um, in the meanwhile. Is that so? My bad. Ah, is that Conan Kun on the phone? Gee, sure, I'm late, Conan Kun. I'm starving to death. Uh, I won't call you back when we get to the restaurant. Um, once, um, come there once you're done with your conversation. Oh, right, and when I told Kobayashi Sensei you're sure getting along with the inspector, uh, Shiratori, huh? She said, really? Uh, really? Well, her face cleared smugly. Not true. Come on, let's go to the family restaurant. I'm going to talk to Akasa Sensei a bit. Hmm? Akasa Sensei went home first. She went home? Yeah, she left her umbrella behind. Did she forget it? Uh, forget it? It's still pouring outside. No, she accidentally broke Kobayashi Sensei's umbrella. Um, when she tried to take hers out, uh, when she tried to take hers out of the umbrella holder, so she left hers behind as a replacement and left. Hmm. Found her. Um, she left her umbrella behind for Kobayashi Sensei to use. Yeah, she said she would take a cab instead. And mine. You sure love headshots, don't you? Uh, make sure to aim well through the umbrella. I'm going for her body. Don't open it. That umbrella could be. Professor, hey, Professor. Darn it, the battery is dead. Shit, shit, shit. Hmm? Wait, the shoes are different. Oh. Hmm. Huh? I missed her because you raised your voice at such an odd timing. Me too. Look at your target carefully. Wait, are you kidding? It's another person? Strange. I'm sure she brought that uh, along a striped umbrella. What on earth? Oh, Casa's like, yes. Yes. Oh no, the umbrella broke. It must be the wind. Mm -hmm. Chianti, the robbery news you mentioned earlier. Huh? Where did it take place? I think it was a firearm store close by. Oh shit! <gasps> she got her! Ah! Chianti? Chianti got shot. The shooter. On the rooftop of uh, the building the target was in. I see. She deliberately let her companions get shot so she can locate our sniper's position in order to shoot back at them, stinky bitch. Just like the Queen's Gambit in chess. Yeah. Well played, bitch. Well played. Scram, leave that place immediately. You don't say. Uh, but to um, Asaka, they aren't companions, but rather just pawns. Seems like I can't deal with her sim in simple ways, huh? Guess I really have no choice but to turn the, uh, back the clock on this right eye. That's only if that drug works as I imagine, though. <gasps> oh no, she's gonna, he's gonna give her the drug! Yeah, why am I helping you? Of course, because I decided to do so. <sighs> Sticking to one's original plan. <laughs> well, there's the piece. I see, you rushed to Kobayashi Sensei because you felt something might be wrong. Um, but her umbrella was only blown away, and uh, there was no evidence of her being sniped or anything. Yeah, although the kids said that they heard three sounds similar to thunder, but based on what I've heard from Superintendent Kuroda about the 17-year-old case, on top of how Wakasa sensei acted during our beach trip recently, well, there's no doubt she is Amanda Hughes' bodyguard from 17 years ago, um, Asaka. Yeah, she probably didn't go into the sea back then because she didn't want to reveal the scars she got um, when she nearly escaped death. Come to think of it, um, you said that your father was involved in Haneda Koji's case 17 years ago. How did that happen? My father and uh, Haneda Koji, are, uh, Koji's fathers, are friends. My dad, who was an MI6 secret agent, received a call from him that said, Help me find the truth behind my son's death. He said that he couldn't rely on the local or Japanese police. Got it, Haneda. Ooh. Got it, Haneda. Send, uh, Haneda-san, I'll travel to the United States and investigate your son's death.
when will you travel to America? I'll depart tonight. I was atten going, um, intending to attend my friend Amanda's funeral anyway. I was a bit, I'm a bit worried. How can I accompany and help you out? <laughs> Instead of worrying about me, worry about um, your cooking while I'm gone. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll return before our family increases by a single member. Who would have thought that would have been like those would be my dad's last words? Hmm. In any case, what's concerning is the fact that um, Amanda's able bodied uh, guards were, were knocked unconscious 17 years ago. Yeah, it seems they only targeted those guards and none of the other guests. If, this is the, if it's the work of someone with eyes we should watch out for, as Amanda's dying message um, indicates, we need to tread carefully. The past is revealed as the sound of the truth's footsteps approaches. Dude, this is getting good. Oh my god. So now we have Akasa's identity and true identity as Asaka. And we're getting Akai's ties to her. Bitch, this is getting good. Dude, if motherfuckers are not cut up with Detective Conan by now. Right, Detective Kitty? Oh, Detective Kitty's sleeping. Yeah, you should be sleeping after all the running around you did earlier. Ugh. Why are your eye boobies? I swear. This one was running around at like 3 or 4 in the morning. I wanted to make sure her eye got up so I could record Chainsaw Man in Oshidoko. Because, um, unfortunately, the animal shortage just hit me. And, um, yeah, the goddamn addicts are ruining my life right now. <sighs> oh, man, I could barely function. I'm lucky I'm still I'm able to record these right now. But when there is manga, there is a way. Kitty is keeping it that way. Kitty is satisfied that I'm doing this right now. Right, Kitty? Right, Detective Kitty? Speaking of Detective Keys, they're clipping your nails. Oh, he don't like that idea. <laughs> we will clip your nails. Anyways, dude, this shit is getting lit. Ooh, yeah. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys thought of um, this chapter. Ooh, boy. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Again Zank. Love what we're doing. We want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Detective Conan content. Two ways you can do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below, right, um, as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be, uh, seeing you later. Bye.